lead to follow and follow to lead. How does that work? Well, a leader can be better by understanding how to be a follower. And a follower can be better by understanding how to be a leader. So why be a leader and a follower beyond that? Well, let me tell you, we are not perfect. I'm not perfect. Now, I might be good at teaching adventure, but I'm definitely not good at teaching art. I'm not even good at being an artist, even drawing little stick figure sketches. I'm not good at. So I definitely wouldn't want to teach you any of anything about art. So it's better to find a teacher or a leader that is good with teaching art. So when it comes to art, that is when I take a back seat and I become a good follower and let somebody else lead. For today's mission, I want you to focus on being both a good leader and a good follower. You had a previous mission to write out your idea of peace, how to obtain peace. If you didn't do that mission yet, now is the time to do it. Here is what we can do. I want you to think about what you created for your idea of peace. Now, I want you to go to somebody else and see what their idea of peace is. Go ahead and try out their idea of peace and ask them to try your idea of peace out. Now, look at Gandhi and Martin Luther King Jr. Gandhi had the idea of using non-violent protests. And Martin Luther King Jr. followed in the footsteps of Gandhi and used that non-violent protest. Now, I'm, of course, not going to ask you to go out and protest anything, even if it is a non-violent protest. What I want you to focus on here is that even a leader can take what another leader has said and be a follower. So go ahead and take your idea of peace and share it with someone else and see if you can help lead them into your idea of peace. And by listening to somebody else's idea of peace, you might be able to help them be a good leader. So adventure on in being a leader and a follower.